here at the University of Oxford. We recently partnered with Merck KGAA, Darmstadt, Germany, and published a paper in Mayo Clinic Proceedings Digital Health titled, A Review of Computer-Aided Diagnostic Algorithms for Cervical Neoplasia and an Assessment of Their Applicability to Female Genital Schistosomiasis, or FGS for short. In our review, we identified 13 automated image diagnosis algorithms that were originally designed for cervical cancer that could be applied to FGS diagnosis. Important features that we looked for include high sensitivity performance, the ability to identify symptomatic areas, and an efficient model design that can function in the low resource areas where FGS is endemic. The following video animation will provide a little bit more information about FGS and why this work is important. It has been five years since my husband and I got married. Like most women in my village, my daily routine includes doing house chores, cooking, and spending hours washing clothes by the river. I love my husband and we live a good life, but not having children has brought stress in our marriage. A few weeks ago, I developed a persistent discomfort in my genital area and decided to go to our local clinic. Since then, each time I went back, the doctors concluded that I have a sexually transmitted infection. I confided in a friend who works in the city about my situation, and she recommended that I visited a gynecologist. Upon some examinations, she diagnosed me with female genital schistosomiasis, FGS in short a condition which is caused by the same snails that cause bilhazia. She explained that the infection occurs when the worm enters your body through the skin and produces eggs inside your body which may affect several organs, usually the stomach and bladder. Except in my case, they infected my genitals. She then highlighted that the disease may be the cause of my infertility but more tests will be needed. She further mentioned that a treatment is available. Female genital schistosomiasis is a disease that affects millions of women in Africa. It is also commonly confused with STIs or cancer. Let us raise awareness and save families.